Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Be aware of the breath all the way in, all the way out. Each time you breathe in, remind yourself this is where you want to be. Don't, don't let the mind wander off someplace else. Because what your mind is doing right now is very important. We read the news, what people are doing outside, other people are doing here and there, other places. But the Buddha says the real news in your life is what you're doing right here, right now. And make it something new, make it something good. Because with each moment you're shaping that moment and then the next moment comes and you've got the raw material coming in from your past karma. But that doesn't totally determine what you're going to experience right now. You have the right to change things in a good direction. The problem is we're not aware of that power that we have. And so it gets misused. This is why we suffer. Nobody wants to suffer. Nobody would intentionally shape the present moment in a way that would make them suffer. But we do it because we're not really aware of what we're doing. So we meditate to bring more awareness right here. So be mindful. Be alert. Watch what you're doing right now. And as for the world outside, spread lots of goodwill. Because this is the human world. There's going to be happiness and there's going to be pain. There's going to be good things happening and there are going to be bad things happening. It's part of the human realm. If you want to live in a world where there's nothing but good, you have to find another world. But this is the world we're in, so we make the most of it. We're trying to do good things all the time. This is why we're generous. This is why we give things. This is why we're virtuous. Why we hold to principles in our behavior. This is why we develop thoughts of goodwill. Goodwill for ourselves and goodwill all around. That way, whatever else is happening in the world, we're putting good energy into what's here right now. That's our gift to ourselves and our gift to the world. To remind yourself, you have the opportunity to do something good, do something new with each moment. Now, the new things may be the same old things you did before if they were good. But if they weren't good, this is your chance to change. Each time you breathe in, each time you breathe out. As the Buddha said, if we didn't have this ability to change our habits, he wouldn't have bothered to teach. The fact that he did teach was because he saw that we can change our habits. And so, as he said, make mindfulness your governing principle, which means that any good things that are developed, you maintain them. Make sure they don't pass away. If they haven't developed yet, you give rise to them. You don't just watch things coming and going. Any bad things that are coming, you let them go. Good things that are coming, you take them on and you develop them. And then you make sure they don't pass away. This is how we have mindfulness in charge of our lives. And we have mindfulness like this, and then we're safe. As the Buddha said, mindfulness, when it's done rightly, is our refuge. We take the qualities of the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha, and we give rise to them right here, right now, inside ourselves. And that way we're safe. 